guys, it's Whitney, and I'm back to answer some of your questions. The first one is from Erica E. She asks, what changes have you noticed in yourself from season one to now? Erica, when I'm watching myself on TV, I'm like, oh my lord, uh, my hair is a lot greasier, my dark circles are a lot darker, I'm a lot more tired. Um, but those are like physical things, um, just from the stress. The other change though that I've really noticed in my life is that um, I've had ups and downs, but I've generally um, gotten more happy and more confident and more thankful. Um, it's been a crazy ride, but it's mostly been really good. Mary Kay wants to know, hi Whitney, my daughter has PCOS and has a very hard time in the summer when the humidity is high, she doesn't even go out of the house. How do you handle it? I don't handle it, Mary Kay. Um, my house is kept at 67 degrees and anyone who comes in here has to bring a blanket and a hat and mittens and everything else. When I'm outside, I just melt. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I've actually always been really sweaty, even as a child, like when I was thin before PCOS and all that. But you can tell your daughter, Mary, that we will be sweaty sisters together. Megan M wants to know, how did you get to such a place of self-love and confidence? I think that once you decide that you wanna to commit to loving yourself and living your life fully, you have to figure out how you're gonna go about that. And I think part of that is, probably the biggest part of that is finding something that makes you feel um, inherently good about yourself. For me, that was dancing. So that was a big um, thing on my, my way back to self-confidence. But you find that thing that makes you feel good, um, that gives you joy, and you dive into it head first. And it's likely a thing that you've been, you know, maybe shying away from doing because of what society tells you that you, you know, you're allowed to do or not allowed to do. But I think getting back to the heart of what you feel like you're naturally put on the earth to do, that's a big part of it. Because then you start to um, have so much happiness and joy and you start to value yourself. Danielle G wants to know, Whitney, what is your advice for someone trying to ignore people's negativity? Danielle, I don't always ignore the negativity. I see it all the time. Sometimes it's impossible to ignore. Uh, in a perfect world, we would never see it. We would have blinders on, but that isn't the world we live in, obviously. So I don't even think there's anything wrong with like noticing it or you know being aware of it. But what I always try to do is kind of build up like a well of positivity. The last question is from Mandy M. She asks, how many tattoos and piercings do you have? Do you regret any? So yeah, I have about 12 piercings right now. I've had about 15 uh, in total. One of the ones that I regret is actually not one of the ones I still have. Um, I got my belly button pierced when I was 18. This is like the 2000, I think this was year 2000. So it was like the cool thing to do. And when I started to gain weight, I took it out because I thought, oh, I'll never show my stomach. So, um, which that was, you know, for a long time that was true. But now I do show my stomach all the time. And it might be kind of cool to have that little piercing. So I kind of regret taking that one out. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.